Hello Cancer, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 1st to the 7th of August. So, Universe, Angels, Spirit Guides, Cancer. What would you like Cancer to know about the week of the 1st of August? The week of the 1st of August for Cancer, 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 Cancer. Angels, Spirit Guides, Cancer for the week of the 1st of August, please. The week of the 1st of August, please, for Cancer. But they want to twist around. Cancer for the week of the 1st of August. For Cancer, please. Ten more cards, please. No, eight more cards. For cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This has been quite a busy week, so they've been throwing out a lot of cards for this week. Angels, Spirit Guides. What would Cancer do? Would you like Cancer to know? Look, they're really messy. The week of the 1st of August. For Cancer, please. Okay. Take those up right because they're lent towards me. So one, three, six, seven. Okay, Cancer. We have you jumping into the unknown. There's a message of passion, or it's you just want you've got the fleece. You you had a um recently you've had accolade you've got the fleece the holy grail and you're about to jump into the unknown you don't know where you are but it's a new energy okay um you're investing you're thinking where do i invest the energy that i've i've um built up over this period of time however it could be seven months um it could be seven thousand pounds you've got in your pocket uh, but you've you want to go and spend it or you want to go and invest it into a new creative project and there's this new uh feeling of love this new feelings of arisen um you're still very guarded uh you're still trying to pay peter to pay paul sort of thing and uh you're guarding your heart and your foundation but if he lets go of his old principles and stops holding so tightly and get someone else to work for him and then he can work then he'll make more jewelry make more money you see so there's something that you're going to how can i there's a justice here so you're no longer a pawn in the game there's some kind of balance there could be what well, you're guarding your foundation you're holding on to your coin there could be something legal that goes in your favour, but it's something out of the blue that feels like you're being sexually manipulated or you're being puppeteered or this toxic. Um, something hits the home so you get this sort of legal, it could be a tax rebate or something, comes in all of a sudden. Or something sexual comes to the home all of a sudden. And it's a wish come true. So there's two things here. There's something legal that's ba that needs balancing. You need a truth of a situation. Because you have got the king of swords here. And... Uh, in love, you have the Nine of Cups, the Wish card, the Union. So you, that it's very... Um, so you're jumping into a known, you want to invest in the future, but you've got this uprush of feeling with the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is the home as well. Um, and it's almost like you're guarding this home and you're paying these bills and you're you're keeping it all together. Something of truth and balance comes in, like a rebate, but also a shock that maybe your tie, a shock to the home, like a legal something, or could be to do with rent, something like that. But you're tied. It's like you're you're tied to this this home, and. It, it's like sex and love. If it was, it's like you're shocked that this is so sexy and that you could have this wish come true in love. It's like it hits you, dumping out the blue, sexually hits you out the blue. Um, it could be that uh, you get a truth. There's this legal, the lawyer, a doctor, a, a surgeon, a um, 
something that it's all going on this week, Cancer. There's something to do with the home. There's something to do with the truth, and there's something to do with balance. There's something to do with legal legalities, sex, love. Um, you're going to get victory over it all. You're going to be rushing into the future with absolute. But, but you, you're going to pull this yin and this yang. It's almost like you pull the devil in. No matter how shocking this thing is. The love and the balance overcome anything toxic. And you could be even getting a car, going to, um, just as soon as you've got this love zone or this union or this wish come true, or this lawyer says it's, it goes in your favour, or this doctor says everything's perfect, you, you can rush into... This love makes everything better. Angels, spirit guides. This is going to be the quickest reading. It's like Guinness World Records. <laughs> so we've got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. There's a lot of honesty this week with this King of Swords. He tells the truth. It's balanced. It's like you want to tell the truth in love. And that enables you to rush forward and have this balance of yin and yang. This victory. Let's. And don't forget. What do we have at the bottom? Oh, we don't look. Have we? Got the wheel of fortune. Travel. End of this week, there's travel. There's someone coming towards you or you're traveling towards them. And, and it's karmic time. This is a, it's a real time for this now. It's like you can't wait any longer. Okay? It's like all your wishes are coming true. Even though you've got this tower and this devil here. It's like you maybe you found out the truth about something that someone was manipulating you. But, or the truth that they really find you really sexy, or the truth that you've got this um, tax rebate, or it's some the sign of a wish come true this week, which enables you to, to be truthful and speed forward, speed forward, very, very fast movement at the end of this week, wherever you're going, you're going. And uh, you want to go, angels, spirit guides, and this love, this wish sees it all through. It makes everything light, it makes the the toxic behaviour light. It makes the tower moment okay, and you know it's kind of like this. We've got Libra, a lot of Libra, a lot of balance, a lot of two things coming together. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? <sighs> Cancer to know for the week of the first of first of. With festival goes for cancer, cancer, and your spirit guides for cancer. You are safe. I'm Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Angel spirit guides. See that this home here, like the tower, the ace of cups, the ace of cups come in the home, the four of pentacles, it's like the, the foundation of the home. It's like here, she's begging him to stay in the home. He's thinking, oh, but I've got things to do. It's like you're off to do things this week, but you you, you might have something leak or something like a flood or something, or something hits the home and it's you're tied to the home, but that makes this wish come true. Oh, look what fell out of the angel cards. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Cancer to know about the week of the first of August. The week of the first of August. As you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. It's like, it, it's like just because you know this love is here, it, it doesn't matter what happens this week. <laughs> it shoves you forward the feeling of it the the union of it tower devil or not it's just 
that's okay i'll do it because you know that this love this is here and um really nice cards uh cancer i know it's a short reading but i don't need to go any further please like share and subscribe tell your friends send it out um and uh hopefully it resonates with you take care speak to you soon bye bye